Good Saturday evening, YouTuberinos. We hope everybody's doing well today. In this video, I am going to read you guys another part of the Braille Sense Manual. Specifically, we're going to do section 2.11. The title of this section is going to be Switching Key Lock. You can disable the keys on the U2 to prevent the accidental pressing of keys using the key lock switch on the right hand corner of the panel. When the key lock switch is placed in the position nearest the front of the unit, U2 announces all keys locked. This means all keys on the unit are disabled, including the on slash off switch. If the key lock switch is placed in the center position, U2 announces top panel locked. This means you can continue to use the buttons and switches on the front panel media mode switch media buttons and on slash off switch however you cannot use any of the keys on the top face of the unit if the key lock switch is placed in the position nearest the rear of the unit U2 announces unlocked. This indicates all keys are operational. This is labeled respectively as being able to use all keys. Note, the reset button is always operational. regardless of the location of the key lock switch. To lock and unlock, only the keys on the front media panel press the back and forward media buttons simultaneously. The unit announces media keys locked. If you press the keys again, the unit announces media keys unlocked. And the media buttons are again operational. Section 2.12, print spool. The print spool function enables the U2 to do other tasks while printing to an ink printer or braille embosser. If you send data to your printer or embosser, you are immediately returned to where you were before the print command was executed. If you want to check the print spool dialog box, labeled respectively as the print spool dialog box menu, press space and dots two, three, four, and six. This is known as space bar and the letter keys, Perkins style keys, dots two, three, four, and six. These keys must be pressed simultaneously. After pressing these keys, a dialog box appears with three controls. A list containing information about files that are being printed. Cancel button and close button. You can cycle through the three controls by pressing the tab key, also known as the function key. 
This can be done with tab spacebar dot four and five or shift tab via space dots one and two. And the information list listed here, you can move among the items by pressing space dot four or space dot one. It's known as shift tabbing forward and shift tabbing backwards. If you open the dialog box when nothing is printing, no items appears on the list and braille pad of the U2 and only the close button is available. While printing the information, list contains the following. Running program name, printing file name, printer type, the number of copies, and either printing or ready. For example, let's assume that we are printing one copy of sample.txt from the word processor dialog box or the menu. The info list displays program, word processor, file, sample.txt, printer, copy, one, printing. If you are using a braille embosser, embosser appears instead of printer. If nothing is printing, but the printer is waiting, ready is displayed instead of printing. If you print something from the email program, the words email temp.txt is displayed instead of the file name. If you are printing from the address manager or the schedule manager, the message such as the prn.gg time.txt is shown. If you focus on a file in the info list, pressing enter on cancel cancels the printing of that file and any other files. To close the print spool dialog box, tab to close and press enter or press space dash Z. This concludes section 2.11 and 2.12. We hope you enjoyed this presentation tutorial of more of the BrailleSense U2's manual. For more information on HIMSS products or any information regarding this unit, please visit HIMSS Inc.'s website by going to https colon slash slash hymns inkcom That is https colon slash slash www.hymns inkcom You can always call the 800 area code or the 888 number listed on the website. Their area code is 888. If you're using uncontracted braille, always ensure that you are using a number sign when writing down this number to save to your list of contacts. Hymns Incorporated is open from 8.30 a.m. to 5.30 p.m. CDT, labeled respectively as Central Standard Time. You can also subscribe to Hymns Inc.'s channel by going to 
https colon slash slash www.youtube.com. The tech support department is always here to help and is glad to assist you if you are blind, new to blindness, or have low vision. Please subscribe to our channel, Thomas and Savannah, and we will bring you more tutorials regarding this unit. Y'all take care.